lot's been changing in Microsoft Loop, particularly around task management and tables. And I thought that I'd show you the new task table and do a comparison between the table and how it's developed and maybe talk about when we might use one over the other. Oh, so we have our table, um, I have added the new task table, and it looks very much like a table. In fact, we've got an example of the same table uh, just below it, manually created. Um, and it, it has its uh, columns and rows, just like we see in regular tables. We can uh, view things in terms of board view, that's cool. Go back and uh, see things like the filter. So this is definitely table capabilities going into maybe filter on bucket and say that I'm only interested in seeing the to-do items and so I can focus in on that. Very cool. Um, what about um, the other feature that's common in a table now which is that we can open up a row and see it in its own separate card and focus in on the detail, the background dims and we can just look at that content and discuss it while we might be in a meeting. Um, we have the option to um, apply a table rule. So if you're using Power Automate, you can also maybe talk about buckets and then we'll also say becomes or equals um, the support bucket maybe, for example. And then we could uh, send out a message based on that condition if it changes. So those are some of the good features uh, that are available in tables and tasks. So now the task list inherits some of those capabilities and we know that it is a task list which um, has that superpower of synchronizing to planner and to do. So if I opened up planner here, uh, let's, let's just do that again. I've got two tabs with planner now. Uh, that has opened up the, the task list that is on the loop page uh, which is called new task table and here are the same tasks. Uh, in fact as our communications plan of course, there is a lot more detail here than what we see in the table. and We don't see things like not started or the priority, for example, whether the task is repetitive or not. But there are other um, core details that are synchronized through to that table, which we see here on the page. Similarly, opening up into to-do, we can see a view of that task as well uh, that's been assigned to me. So that's, that's all very nice. Now... Um, some of the things that it doesn't do. Now, it is a table, but uh, it is not as flexible as a table. Um, we, well, we have, we do have at least as a task that I can mark a task off and uh, and make it a checklist item and, and uh, cross it off. And that's going to have an impact on it synchronizing through to planner and to do. Um, but I can't select the column. I can't drag that around necessarily uh, into a different order. Uh, if I wanted to change the type of column, can't do that. Can't add any additional columns. So this is quite a fixed view that is intentionally nailed down so it can synchronize through to the planner and to-do as an experience. But it does add these additional capabilities that we were talking about earlier. Now, uh, let's compare this to a regular table, which has also been upgraded, and it's receiving some of these superpowers. So we know that we can show things in a, a board view as well, uh, and we can open up that card, for example. Uh, if I go back over to that table view, uh, then I've also updated, and this is I didn't really notice this and, and even think about it until um, I saw it in a demo. We can open up a card, and uh, we've also got just below this line an area where you can add notes. And guess what? There are some capabilities in here that are inherently loop that we can use in even our notes. So I can, you know, make a bulleted list. I can um, format things with, with uh, headings, collapsible headings. I can mention people in it. And what I've demonstrated here too is that I've used the date field. I often use this as a way of um, adding maybe a status update to a task uh, that this is what um, this is where it's at with the task um, then I might even use comments to be able to um, you know uh, comment on or give a, a status update or just a response to that status update so I really like that I know that it doesn't fully do everything in, in loop that it can here in notes um, or rather the other way around. We can't do everything in, in the notes that we can do in a full loop page. But it is really quite flexible. Uh, and even in this view, then I could add a field. Let's say that maybe I want to um, prioritize these tasks based on votes. 
So what should I be prioritizing? Let's just rename that as prioritize. And then uh, allow the team to upvote to show that they support this task and then it needs to be given priority. Uh, now, I can't do that in the task table, and it wouldn't actually translate very well if it needed to synchronize somewhere to plan it or to do, would it? But it is a capability here in a table. Now, apart from that, you know, there's uh, other things that we can typically do with tables. We can drag columns around into different orders if we needed to, you know, view things in a different way. Um, I have the ability to add new columns, and um, I'll just delete that one there just to keep it all tidy. <laughs> Uh, I actually wanted to try and see if I could create this checklist uh, experience as well. Uh, we know that as a checklist up here in the task list that when I cross or check a task off, it's going to synchronize to planner and to do, as I said earlier. Um, and, you know, there is that little mark there to say that it is a task type column, not that we can change it. But down here in the uh, table, straight table, uh, I can change the column type. I don't have a checklist item, do I? But what I can do uh, is I can use a forward slash checklist. And now that is a checklist item. Another way of doing this is uh, you can right click and headings and lists. That's right. And into checklist. And now that's an item. Can we do it with two items at the same time or two rows? Doesn't look like it. So item by item, uh, I would have to do that. And I wonder if we just change this one to checklist. Does it mean the next item is going to carry over that formatting? Let's just add a new item. Doesn't seem to be the case. Right, so maybe that's a feature request that we might have a checklist type of a column. That would be quite cool to, to do. Uh, but, you know, we've got a similar kind of experience here as we cross things off. Um, we, yeah, we've got the ability to change those column types. Uh, what else have we got? Um, due dates and the like. Yeah, so all those sorts of things are still part of that table. Uh, and you still get that roll up there at the bottom too. So there are definitely similarities between tasks as, as the new table and a regular table, which we can do a whole lot more with. Um, oh, there was one other thing I was going to show on that card. Right, so let's go back into this item. Uh, just for changing it up, let's go to the board view. And it was the leadership pack, so let's open up that same um, card. I've got a link to something here. Um, and I actually used a forward slash and... What was it? Leadership? Yeah. This is searching across uh, my work space and I've found a page that's within the uh, workspace that is leadership briefing pack and that links off to let's just delete that if I launch it links off to a page within the same workspace and this might be where there's even more detail about the content that we're working on maybe we're putting together a draft or we're trying to think through some ways of of pitching this particular deliverable or item. I can link off to other things too. This is just a regular loop page which we can do so much with, um, but it's great to see that I could you know, link off to that even just from that card. And again, something that we can't do with tasks. Now, so what I am showing you is that there are definitely similarities and differences. And when would I use a task list over a table? Uh, if you do want that capability to synchronize your tasks over to planner and still see them in a plan so if we go back over to here here's that same task table uh, we can mark these things off we can assign more than one person to it we can you know organize things here too um, we could um, uh, maybe if we wanted to bring that task over into another plan that already exists we don't have to you know just um, uh, you know, leave leave that there as part of that plan. If we needed to bring it into an existing plan that ha is related to our full project, we can just, you know, use that move task and then choose the appropriate um, plan for that. Um, we have the option to, if we go back over to here, why would we, why else would we use the, uh, the task table? Uh, sometimes it is just about quickly capturing those tasks and that if we wanted that option to synchronize, we can, right? So we've got that on the page. We can work through things. Um, but if I wanted to just store more information about a task or a thing that I'm trying to get my team to work on and prioritize, then maybe I would use a table. 
that I have that option to uh, create more columns and have a bit more of a discussion around things here. Uh, and one thing that we, uh, there's a few things coming um, around this, uh, uh, and I saw it um, demonstrated in, in another person's screenshot, uh, the ability to uh, put in a comment within the, let's just try this out, there we go, new comment. Right, right-clicking, new comment, let's have a discussion or um, a comment about this particular item at this level. So it could be at Matt, um, Laura is going to need some help with this one. Right, all right, so that... Clearly, you can see at the top of that that cell that um, I, I've got a comment that I can read. Um, it becomes a conversation thread as well as people reply to it. Uh, it's got it mentions, so that's a really good feature to use. A little bit more visible, more visible than the um, the comment that I uh, put into the notes section of this uh, table item. Uh, so yeah, good way to just quickly see that 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 is the case. And I think. I think that it doesn't just have to be a task or rather a text type column. I can right click and do the same here. Yes, I can on the people assignment. So maybe I could leave a comment here to say, hey, can we reassign this to Matt and, um, and discuss it that way. So that is cell by cell. And that is really a great improvement over the um, insert comment that we used to have where the person's name was in brackets and we'd type some text and the cell and the table would get very messy and my OCD would just go, uh, uh, it would just get triggered. <laughs> right, um, that's enough, right, isn't it? I mean, we've got a lot here to, to talk about and discuss and compare. Um, we've, we've said when we might use one over the other. Uh, I'm still in favor of using uh, something that synchronizes those tasks through to a place where I can use them with my team. Uh, and, you know, that's definitely the case here that I can uh, see that plan and work through it. One thing that I'll just leave with you too, and uh, uh, whether this is something that's still being developed or needs to be worked on, but new teams, let's take a look at this. I'm in the new planner app. And uh, I see the tasks that are assigned to me. That's cool. I can see that uh, leadership briefing pack that we were working with earlier from that table on the page. What's missing? Could be a good thing. Some of us, uh, you know, when we have a look at the old planner, let's have a look at that over here. We can see all the different um, uh, loop-based planners that are um, uh, in, in our list. Um, and that's good. I think it's good to see that and be able to go and find them. It is a little bit overwhelming if you see a whole lot of loop logos along the side. Um, but in the new planner within Teams, uh, I can see tasks that are assigned to me that might be related to a loop plan. But I cannot see the plans. I'm going to My Plans, and there's a bunch of different plans, but nothing here really that... Um, is related to loop and maybe it's just something that's still coming that the new planner is going to expose those and my recommendation would be that we'd have a filter here that says show me my my loop based plans uh, but right now not there certainly in my tasks and what's been assigned to me but not in my plans right the space is always developing as uh, some of us uh, discuss and say, oh, look, we're so disappointed that it's not, um, you know, working the way that we expect it to. It's because it's in development. <laughs> we can give that feedback and um, we can uh, actually I'll take a moment here to promote the the feedback portal dot Microsoft dot com. That's definitely a place where you can give feedback to uh, Microsoft about all the products that they develop or a lot of them, especially in the Microsoft 365 space, you will find a section there for Loop to give feedback on uh, Loop and what you'd like to see next. Thanks for tuning in. It has been a while. Sorry about that. I'll keep on with creating content when I can in between work. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.